And our top story this morning, pediatric COVID cases are now at their highest since the start of the pandemic. That's according to the CDC. At Rady Children's Hospital here locally, the number of kids being admitted with COVID tripled in the last week. However, that does not tell the whole story here. News Aid's Dana Marie McNichol is live now with a closer look at this. Good morning. Good morning, Eric. Well, a local doctor here at Rady Children's Hospital says that although, yes, there are many infections of COVID in the hospital, that's not why kids are being admitted. They find out after they're admitted through a series of routine tests. So here's Dr. John Bradley explaining that. I don't want people to worry that children are in the hospital sick with COVID. The numbers are high. We average 20, 25 kids in the hospital at any one time who are COVID positive, but they're coming in, going out, coming in, going out. So it's not like these are chronic infections. Now here at Rady Children's Hospital, the number of kids being admitted with COVID tripled in just the last week. Right now, there are 20 kids in the COVID unit and two are in the ICU. But doctors say, fortunately, there have been no child-related COVID deaths here, and most of the kids who do have COVID have very mild symptoms. Dr. John Bradley says when most of the children testing positive are coming in for something else per protocol, they're getting tested for COVID, and that's when they discover they have that as well. Now, with that being said, the Omicron variant is spreading very quickly, and doctors say that's why it's so crucial for eligible children to get vaccinated, not only because they can um, help with the spread within the community, but there's a growing concern about MISC. That's an inflammation condition in kids related to COVID.